Hi, everybody. Chris Wittick here, tax partner at Boyan Berenshire and part of our COVID-19 team. Uh, we just wanted to make a more of a quick video, not necessarily a full webinar, but just a few minutes here talking about where we are with the PPP loans, where we are with some of the stimulus, and, and just give an update and, and see where we're at. So a couple of weeks ago in August, the president uh, passed four different executive orders. And those executive orders, we have them listed in a blog. And really, we, we don't see a huge impact of those. There's a payroll tax deferral you may have heard about. But the way it's structured, there's certainly a lot more guidance that's needed. And it, it appears to be optional. And the employers really, it doesn't seem like a good deal for the employers. So at this point, we don't really envision any of our business owners um, potentially utilizing that. So you can read more about it on the blog. We've got a, a write up of all four of those. In terms of the PPP loans, uh, we were looking at maybe having a bill through Congress in August, and that didn't happen. Congress recessed. And so it'll be at least September sometime, maybe mid September before any next potential stimulus bill comes around. So there have been no changes, uh, no changes to the PPP loan recently. So where are we at with that? For folks who got a PPP loan, we're really looking at waiting until your 24 week period is over before you consider applying for the forgiveness. Just because your bank is maybe reaching out to you now, the banks are starting to take these applications for forgiveness. We really don't feel it would be in your best interest to submit a forgiveness application right now. You want to wait until the end of your 24 week period so that you have all of the information that could potentially go into that forgiveness application. And we want to wait and see if Congress addresses some of the current issues with the PPP loan, uh, including the deductibility. And we want to wait to see if new loan forgiveness applications are going to be coming out. We do think that's definitely a possibility, especially for those smaller loans, that there might be a new loan forgiveness application. So we don't want to spend time and energy trying to fill it out right now. We want to wait and get the full 24 weeks of information and then make a decision about how we're going to submit and how we're going to fill out those loan forgiveness applications. So for now, just wait. Uh, we're really in a holding period. Even if you have spent all of that PPP money, uh, you still want to be documenting as you incur additional expenses towards the payroll and the rent and the utilities so that when the 24 week period is over, we have the full information for the full 24 weeks. And we can certainly help you at that point uh, decide what should go on that application, make sure you're filling it out correctly, uh, really go through that whole, uh, the whole process with you so that you understand what kind of forgiveness you'd be in line for. So if you're waiting for your 24 weeks to be over, we're really looking at mid-October, November timeframe before your 24 weeks is up. Um, until then, I would say just keep spending the money as, as normal and spend it on, on the right things and keep track of it. But you should be doing those things anyways, uh, just good practice. For, for your accounting records. So um, really we're, we're just waiting for the 24 weeks to be up before we consider uh, sending in those or filling out even those loan forgiveness applications. If there are changes in September, if Congress comes back and passes something else, certainly we'll jump back in with big webinars. Uh, but for now, we just wanted a quick update uh, and to keep encouraging you to utilize the resources on our COVID-19 page, utilize the blogs, and certainly reach out to us if you have questions about PPP loans or those executive orders, or uh, when it comes to the next round of stimulus, we'll certainly be back with more webinars and a, a ton more resources and information so people can be making informed decisions. So until then, uh, I'll say bye for now from the home office and uh, stay in touch. Thanks.